A lot of people take GLP-1 medications for diabetes as well as weight loss, but they're marketed as lower your A1C, and it would help if we all knew what that meant. Hemoglobin A1C is a measure of glycosylated hemoglobin, and in English it just means how many of your red blood cells have sugar attached to them. As long as you have red blood cells in your bloodstream and sugar in your bloodstream, some of that sugar will be attached to your red blood cells. It's normal. The more sugar you have, the more red blood cells will have sugar on them, and at some point, that represents bad blood sugar control. But it's important to know that that's an average and a rough estimate over three to four months. And the reason it's three to four months is because your red blood cells last about three to four months. Let's say you were a poorly controlled diabetic for like a year. Your A1C will be kind of high. But let's say you make a change. Maybe it's lifestyle, maybe it's medication, maybe it's both. And your blood sugar is pretty well controlled for the next month. There will be one month where your oldest red blood cells die, and those usually have a lot of sugar on them because you were uncontrolled during that time. But your newest red blood cells won't have nearly as much. One, because they're newer, and two, your blood sugar's been better controlled. During that first month, you still have two or three months worth of red blood cells that are used to a lot more sugar in your bloodstream. So they will have more sugar attached to them, so your A1C will stay kind of high. And that's why we test A1C every three or four months, because it gives you a complete picture of the last three or four months, especially if you made a change recently, it's not really gonna show up.